Every person who has felt a certain call to discern a vocation to the priesthood or religious life will tell you that at some point they experienced that call in a very personal way. And if you look at the way Jesus called his first apostles, he never did it by sending a delegate. He never did by sending a mission or not even a letter. He chose to call each person individually and personally, each by name. The stories that you're about to hear are from men that have been discerning a call to the priesthood. And you'll see in each of these stories that they're all very, very unique, but each and every one of them in some stage of their development, in some stage of discernment of that call, will tell you that they've experienced this coming to them personally. Perhaps it was through another person, somebody else's example, maybe an experience that they had, but unmistakably there was that sense that the Lord was calling me by name, individually, as he may be calling you. Are you listening? I grew up going to church at Our Lady of the Assumption in Latham. As a teenager, I stopped going. You know, I wanted nothing to do with, with going to church. Um, so when I was in high school, I started working for the church, doing grounds and maintenance work. So it was kind of funny to say that I can work for them, but I didn't want to be a part of it. The first time somebody ever said to me, you should consider being a priest, was actually a parish secretary at the church that I worked at. And I just laughed her off. I said, absolutely not. Why do you want me to uh, consider this? And I found myself relying more and more each day on my relationship with God. So then I started going back to church slowly and I could begin to see myself in that role. We do a lot of vocation talks where we, we go out and we're basically planting seeds and telling guys, consider the priesthood. One of the greatest things is actually going to seminary because you're in an environment of another 100, 200 guys who are dealing with the same exact thing. Four times a year I write an article for the uh, Diocesan newspaper, The Evangelist, and they call it The Seminary and Diary. And it's kind of our perspective of things that we go through. One month I wrote on fear and overcoming it. For me especially it was the idea of being a public person, always in the spotlight. I've never been a person who likes crowds, um, you know, being in front of crowds. So it's kind of funny that God's saying, okay, I want you to go to church, which you weren't doing before, and I want you to, you know, step in front of this crowd every day and enjoy it. This May, I was ordained a transitional deacon, uh, and I've been reassigned to Christ the King Parish in Gilderland. And being around good holy priests who you can learn different gifts from, you can see how they have their own fears and how they overcame them. Uh, and that's definitely helped me. My primary assignment is at Albany Medical Center doing a chaplain program called Clinical Pastoral Education. What I really enjoy about it is going out and meeting people where they're at. Because it's similar to when you're in a parish, uh, you're gonna be called out in the middle of the night to hospitals or to people's homes uh, when they're in need. As far as being at Christ the King on the weekend, it's really about growing into this role as a deacon. You know, you're proclaiming the word, you're preaching, you're walking into those shoes of a priest. So I definitely encourage anyone who's even considering the priesthood that they may have a call to try to seek it out because it's something you want to put to rest whether it is for you or not. And you may find out that you can be happier than you ever thought possible if it is for you. Or you could find that you bring so much more to your other vocation, whether it's marriage or single life, and I have yet to meet a person who has gone to seminary who regrets going there. That's really what, what brought me to say, you know, okay, let, let me consider the priesthood. And then since then I've just fallen in love with it and each experience I have just makes me say, okay, this is it. This is it for me.